So at least we have one page that works fine. The only problem is if we try to click on anything, uh, we end up... Um, oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Look at that. So what's happening here is that it's the links are added to the end of this. When I try to click about, you see this slash about HTML, uh, but the home doesn't change here. So it's still on the home page. So because these are relative paths, so we have to change this and put actual paths. So what I want us to do for now is to get the header and the footer to separate these two, okay? So let's try and do that. So I'm going to go to my, uh, let's go to my home view, okay? So let's try to see where the header ends. Now, a simple way to do things like this is to look at the header here. You can right click and say inspect and then wait a little bit. Okay, so it shows you the header. As you scroll down, you see which part is which. So there's a body here and there's a header. So this is actually the header. So anything above that is really the top before the header. So that's what we want. And then there's footer here as well. So all the content is in the main and then there's footer and then there's header. So it's well organized. All right, so what I would do is body starts here and then there's header, which is the navigation really. This is the nav. Now there are times when you don't want to show the navigation on a page. It's uh, very possible that you may want not to show the navigation depending on the situation, maybe on the login page or something like that. So you can separate these into the header itself and then the navigation and then the footer. Let's see here. Uh, these are section, section, section. The footer starts here and where does it end? So there's a line there where it ends and then there's the body. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so what we will do in this case is let's separate the navigation and the header. So header starts there. So I'm going to get everything up to the body section and cut that. Yes, cut it. And I'll go to views and create a new view. Now, the number of views can grow quite rapidly. So what I would suggest is you make folders in here so that things are well organized. So I'll right click on views and click new folder. And I'll call this one includes. Okay, so that these are included things we'll be putting here. So right click on includes and say new file. Let's paste this and let's save this as the header. So inside includes, we're going to save this as headers.view.php because it's a view file anyway. Save that as all files. Okay, great. So we have a header in there. And then to make sure that nothing has changed, let's go back here and include that header. So we'll do PHP and say this. And, uh, oh, sorry, this view, and then we're going to say header. So we're including this view just like any normal inclusion that we can do. Like this. You can put a semicolon if you want. But I think that works just as well. Now, the reason this works is because, remember, we are still inside the home class that's where we are including all we are doing by doing this is just including a file okay so we're including this file and um, we are still inside this class so everything happens within this class so when we call this we are calling this class here and we are still calling the view function and you see data 
is still something we are sending here. And if you remember in the controller, we have data as a variable as well. So this data variable is still available to any file that we include here, data there. Even though we've extracted the data, but the actual data uh, variable array still exists. It's not deleted by this. So this means that if we include header and we want to pass through information that was sent from the original thing, we can still pass in data like that, just in case. So to make sure that nothing has gone wrong, let's refresh. And as you can see, something did go wrong. So it's telling me that cannot find the view file app views header.php. Okay, now the reason it can't find that is because header is inside the includes folder. So here we have to say includes slash header like that. Okay, refresh and everything is back to normal. So let's go and do the same thing to the footer here since we've gotten the gist of it. So footer, where does footer start from? Right here, footer. Let's cut everything. Boom. Okay. And let's create a new file in the includes, new file, paste, save. Just like uh, header, this one is footer.view.php. And the same way we did this, I'll copy the header thingy, take it to the bottom and uh, paste it here, but change it to footer, of course. Let's confirm, nothing has changed. Let's go down here, the footer still exists. We are in good hands. But I want to separate the navigation as well. So I will duplicate that and call this one nav. But the file hasn't been created yet. So what we'll do is cut this header. That's what contains the nav up to end header here and cut everything from there. Create a new includes file, paste, save, and I will save this one as nav. nav.view.php. Let's come back here and save. So we have the header, we have the navigation, and refresh. So in this way, if I remove the navigation, things will still work, but the navigation won't exist. Wait a minute, what is going on? Hmm. Something wrong. So let's see, what's in the navigation that is preventing us from viewing the rest of this? Hmm. Nothing really. There are no files included here. There's just a complete header and none here. Everything should be contained within there. Hmm, so why, why, why? There's a form here, but that's about it. Let's go back. Let me go to, sometimes you just right click. Oh wait, I think it exists, it's just, what's happening here? Let me right click somewhere. I want to view the page source, but view page source. The body is here, and then there's main. Yeah, it looks like things should work just fine. But they don't. That is concerning. Hmm. Let's remove the nav again. Okay, I have no idea why this isn't working at all, but it seems there's something in the navigation that is prohibiting anything else from working. Okay, the way I can find that out is if I delete the nav itself here, boom, and refresh. Okay, so things work when this is there, so that's not what's causing problems. Let me undo that. I want to see what part 
of this is preventing things from working. So I'll delete that part as well. Yeah, look at that. Things are not working after this. So this right here contains something. Ah, maybe it's the relative position. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. JS search open. Mobile nav toggle. Okay, so maybe this is for mobile view. I don't know. So if it's not there, it's assuming we're in mobile view. So if I click here and go to responsive design, this thing should be responsive. And it seems that it is. So I think these are the issues that are causing uh, this problem here. Let's do this. Let me remove this div again. Yeah, still things are not showing. Okay, so I want to see exactly which line is causing this problem. Let me remove the search form. So you can use this process of elimination. As you can see, it still doesn't work when I remove that search form. But the other stuff, let me try and remove that. Things don't work still when I do that. Why? Oh, why? Hmm. Okay, so it's this class here, I guess. I don't understand. This is a thing with, um, with templates, you know, they come with their own quirks and uh, issues. Let me remove what's inside here. So you have to take your time to study what works and what doesn't work. Delete a few things. See what uh, we do the job. Okay, so this JS search form, uh, usually when you see JS at the beginning, it's just a sign to show you that um, this is being used by the JavaScript somehow. So this must be there. So let me remove this, except anything that has JS in it. So this has JS, uh, this doesn't, uh, but the contents do have, so I'll remove that. Let me just leave the stuff that has JS in there and you see everything comes back. So there's something that the JavaScript looks for and then if it doesn't find it, oops, if it doesn't find it, then it creates an error. So I bet if I delete this and refresh and then do an inspect, Oopsie. Inspect and go to the console. I should find an error. So there we see. Search open is no. So that's why. So those are things to keep in mind, I guess. If I do this, the error is gone. Okay, we'll see how we can get around that if we need to show the navigation on its own. But with this now, let's go ahead and in the uh, navigation here is where the Zen blog is the name. So instead of Zen blog here, let's put uh, app name. Let me put the echo sign there. So we're echoing the constant app name so that once we change the app name and then everything changes there. So Udemy app, you can name it whatever you want in the config and that will set it there. And then we have all these dot HTML. Uh, so anything that's dot HTML should be removed. So I'll just select that, select all dot HTML, remove them. And anything that has index like this should be changed to the home page, which is uh, root like that, just root like this. Okay, so now if I refresh, when I click blog, that's the home page. Single post, page not found. About, page not found. Contact, page not found. So instead, what we'll do on the page not found, we'll do this. We'll go to the, like what we have on the home page, copy that. And let's go to the 404, uh, the view for the 404, which is this one. So the page not found, we'll put it here and then that way we can put the footer down here and say foot. Okay. 
like that and if i now click on a page not found this is what i get yeah and just as i thought the contents of page not found itself are invisible but uh, page not found is there so i think the reason why this is invisible is we need the main thingy here so let me go back to the home view this main should be there so i'm going to cut this part of main and unfortunately i have to put it in the nav so this effectively ties the navigation to to the header but it's okay we can have a separate file so that it's easier to edit because what this means is that if i don't put the navigation i won't have that main div here so header alone can't work but it's okay i'll do the same end main here cut that and put that in the footer right at the top of the footer here like that okay save that way even though we don't have the home page we'll still have that main thing and then we can have page not found over here let me do justice to the 404 here i'll put this in a div since we have this is a bootstrap based um a template it means we can use bootstrap classes so i'll do class here and say container container fluid and then this is not fluid and then i'll say padding for just to add some padding there and then text center okay let's try that okay there we go so pagination found page not found so any of these page not found are here now at least we don't get that hideous page now we go to the home page when we click their home page page not found home page okay pretty cool yes all right so at least an improvement there now what we need is the login and sign up pages let's make those 